Welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of several Tudor history books. Now today I'm taking you back to the reign of Queen Mary I. For On This Day in Tudor History, the 15th of July, 1556, the trial of Julians Palmer, John Gwynne and Thomas Robbins, men now known as the Newbury Martyrs, opened at St Nicholas Church in Newbury. They were accused of sedition and heresy. Let me tell you a bit more about Julian's Palmer and what led a previously staunch Catholic to be tried for heresy in Mary I's reign. Julian's Julius or Jocelyn Palmer was born in around 1531-1532. He was a Coventry man and was educated at Magdalen College, Oxford, graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in 1547. He went on to be elected as a fellow in 1549 and was appointed reader in logic in 1550. Two years later, however, he took a leave of absence due to accusations of writing libelous verses against the college's president. It appears that his staunch Catholicism was the root cause. He then entered the service of Sir Francis Knowles as a tutor. Palmer returned to his fellowship following the accession of Queen Mary I, and it's then that his faith was challenged by reading John Calvin's Institutes, reading Peter Martyr's commentary on the first epistle to the Corinthians, and seeing the executions of the Protestant bishops Nicholas Ridley and Hugh Latimer, two of the Oxford martyrs. Palmer embraced the Protestant faith, and he left his position at Oxford to become master of Reading Grammar School. Unfortunately, suspicions of heresy followed him to Reading and his study was searched by rivals who wanted to um, depose him and replace him. They discovered anti-Catholic works and threatened Palmer, forcing him to leave Reading and go to his mother's house at Ensham. However, his new faith meant that he was not welcomed by his mother and he was arrested in Reading, having returned there to pick up his manuscripts and the pay that was owed to him. Palmer appeared before the mayor of Reading before being taken to Newbury, where he was arraigned with John Gwynne and Thomas Robbins, who also appears in the sources as Thomas Askew or Askin. They appeared before the consistory presided over by Dr William Jeffrey, Chancellor of Salisbury. The charges against them included denying the Pope's supremacy, believing that there were only two sacraments, maintaining that the priest showeth up an idol at Mass, and refusing to go to Mass, denying the existence of purgatory and being a sower of sedition. The trial continued the next day, with Palmer, who was about 24 years of age, stating that his writings were all consistent with the Bible and refusing to recant, even when Sir Richard Bridges, a member of the consistory, implored him to do so, saying, If thou wilt be conformable, I will give thee meat and drink and books, and ten pounds yearly, I will procure thee a wife and a farm. The men were condemned and handed over to the secular authorities. At around five o'clock that evening, the 16th of July, 1556, Palmer, Gwynne and Robbins were taken to the old sand pits in Enborn Road, Newbury, to be burnt at the stake. Martyrologist John Fox records their deaths. They put off their raiment and went to the stake and kissed it, and when they were bound to the post, Palmer said, Good people, pray for us that we may persevere unto the end. And for Christ his sake, beware of popish teachers, for they deceive you. As he spake this, a servant of one of the bailiffs threw a faggot at his face, that the blood gushed out in diverse places. For the which fact the sheriff broke his head, that the blood likewise ran about his ears. When the fire was kindled and began to take hold of their bodies, they lift their hands towards heaven, and quietly and cheerfully, as though they felt no smart, they cried, Lord Jesus, strengthen us. Lord Jesus, assist us. Lord Jesus, receive our souls. And so they continued, without any struggling, holding up their hands and knocking their hearts, and calling upon Jesus, until they had ended their mortal lives. And that was the sad end of the men known as the Newbury Martyrs. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 15th of July, 1553, 
the royal ships that were supposed to be Queen Jane's and that were guarding the coast off East Anglia to stop Mary fleeing England or any of her supporters invading England swapped sides and declared for Queen Mary. Find out what happened in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to. You'll find that link in the description. Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking that subscribe button right there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live and you can give me a like and leave me a comment. I'm off to get a lot cooler now. It is so hot at the moment. <sighs>